For people who are just learning how to work with analogical arguments, identifying their parts can be quite challenging. In this lecture, we're going to learn a method that can help considerably with this. The method, quite simply, is work backwards. To see what this means, let's start with an example. Children generally choose things that bring them immediate gratification over what will benefit their long-term interests. That's why families work best when they have a strong authoritarian structure. Similarly, citizens generally favor those policies that will have an immediate impact on their well-being, even when these policies will harm them in the long run. Thus, countries will similarly work best when they adopt authoritarian political structures. Now what it means to work backwards with an argument like this is that you start with the conclusion. The reason that we do this is that the conclusion will tell you both what the target domain is and what the Y property is. In our example, the conclusion is countries will similarly work best when they adopt authoritarian political structures. It should be clear when looking at this conclusion that the target domain is countries. What's said about the target domain is that they work best when they adopt authoritarian political structures. This is the Y property. The second step in our method is to identify the source domain. Since we know what the target domain is, the source domain can be identified by looking for whatever the target domain is being compared to. So let's look at our passage again. We see that the conclusion has to do with countries, that's our target domain, and the argument draws a conclusion about countries by saying something about families. So we can say with confidence that the source domain of this argument is families. Once we have the source domain and the target domain, we can identify what the X property or properties are. Remember that X properties are those things that are said about the source and the target domains. So again, looking at our passage, we see that what is said about both families and countries is that, in both families and countries, the ruled choose their short-term interests over their long-term interests. Finally, now that we have the X and the Y properties, we can construct a linking principle. In this example, we might say something like, in hierarchies, where the ruled choose their short-term interests at the expense of their long-term interests, an authoritarian ruling structure is preferable. Now I understand that went by pretty fast, so let's look at another example. Last year, two of my friends went hiking in the woods and subsequently developed a bullseye type rash and experienced much fatigue and flu-like symptoms. Both were diagnosed with Lyme disease. This past week, my spouse also went hiking in the woods and has developed the same symptoms. I worry that she also has Lyme disease. Employing our method here, again we start with the conclusion, which is that my wife might have Lyme disease. From the conclusion, we can identify the target domain, my wife, and the Y property, that she might have Lyme disease. Next, we want to identify what the source domain is. In this example, the source domain consists of my two friends. The third step is to see what is said about both the members of the source and the target domains. What is said in this example is that they all went hiking in the woods, developed a kind of rash, and experienced much fatigue and flu-like symptoms. Now that we have the X properties and the Y property, we can construct a linking principle. Namely, that those who go hiking in the woods, subsequently develop a kind of rash, and experience much fatigue and flu-like symptoms, likely have Lyme disease. In this lecture, we've learned a method that we can use to easily identify the parts of analogical arguments. In the two examples that we've looked at, you might think neither is entirely convincing. So in the next section, we're going to learn some criteria that can be used to evaluate analogical arguments.